All right, what's going on, y'all? So, I'm back. And today's project is gonna be a rear view camera. And I'm thinking, smack, smacking it right there. So it's so small when I had to go grab it at the house, but I think I'm gonna uh, go the old school way and just drill it right through the middle of the tag. And uh, yeah, but rear view camera, found it, uh, I put a link for it in the description or on the bottom of the video or something, some kind of way, but it was like 10 to $15 or something, so it wasn't, wasn't expensive or nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all of that set up and uh, get that wired up and we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is what we got. Open this up. So, Pretty straightforward. This is something, I don't know. A diagram. But you got your saw to cut it. All the wires you need to run from back here to the radio. The wires that plug up and will connect to the reverse lights, which will turn your camera on. And lastly you got your actual camera. So not bad. It's pretty small, but uh, what I'm looking at is somewhere around there, like probably be in the middle. So it wouldn't, could do it kind of lower, but I'd probably do it up high. But yeah, so it shouldn't shouldn't bother too much. Yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty small, but it's got little lights in it or whatever. So I'm guessing they come on at the same time, some kind of way. But Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so so far my game plan is camera in the middle, wires through here. I can reach them through this little gap. And I'm just gonna pull it across, take this tail light out, and probably put it through whatever this is. So this feels soft and like plastic or rubber or something. So I probably put it through there or might just put it through this side. This probably be a little easier. Just poke a hole through this grommet and run it through that. So that's probably what I do is go on this side. And then move some of this out the way and back up to the front. Should be fine. That didn't take long. Slide this in here. Right, it took a little persuasion, but it's in there. So uh, just a heads up, if you're trying to do this in a tag, this it's aluminum or whatever is real thin, so it's gone. It's going to bend a lot when you're trying to do it, so you just got to kind of work slow. Uh, I had the board open just a little bit from what the uh, what the bit that came with it did, so it'll fit a little better. But it's in there, and according to this, if that's right, it's up straight. So we'll figure out once we hook it up. All right, so to prevent from having to deal with these wires every time you change lights, I'm just gonna hook it up straight to the harness. So, as you can see, brown wire on this set is reverse, which is all the way on the end. And ground is that second one from the left. So, instead of hooking it up here, we're gonna hook it up here. So, this would be my reverse all the way on the right. And ground would be this second one right here. So should be pretty simple. That way it's wired up. Never have to worry about undoing it or any of that.
through. Just cut a hole with this uh, little blade. Cut your hole in here. And then you just uh, push this through from the back. Snap that back in place. And you pull it through. So the hard part is done. All I got to do is run this up to the front. And uh, take this off, which, you know, that, that's simple. Take that off, pull the radio out, plug it up in the back, and then we're good to go. I'm just going to run it along this, uh, along this little seal and up through there. Pretty simple. But let me go ahead and get all this pulled through and get set up. Right, so I went ahead and zip tied all of these just so I won't have wires hanging out of the bottom of the bumper. After the first test run, camera didn't come on. The lights on the camera came on. The video input didn't come on. So, this red wire that's on the actual RCA that goes into the to the radio, just gonna plug this up with the wires that came out of this camera. Just gonna hook it up to the reverse light, and then once that kicks on, everything else should kick on and be good to go. So, that's the plan. We're gonna see how it goes. Alright, so I just realized on this Kenwood, it's got a wire for reverse. So, there you go. This should hook up to the red wire coming off of that RCA. And hopefully it should work, so let's see. So the reverse wire and the red wire, they're hooked up together now. So, let's see if that solves our problem. And it does. Only problem now is camera's upside down. So, gotta rotate that a little bit, but we're making progress. Alright, so as you can see, I got it pretty much even. I'm in a weird spot, but it's even though. Just, just trust and believe it's even. So, that was the last thing we had to do. Now I gotta actually run this wire on the sides and all of that. Cause I didn't want to run it and then it not work or whatever. So I wanted to just test it out first. But it's working. So now I gotta. Uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead, run all of this on the sides, and then I'll hook that back up, tape it up, and then we will be done. All right. So I got everything hooked up. The RCA, the red wire on the RCA is hooked up in the front. The red wire on the RCA is hooked up in the back to the reverse light. And the positive and negative for the camera is hooked up to the reverse light. So, everything should be good to go. And there we go.